All right. Live and direct. What's good with y'all, man? New president, new president in the house. What y'all think? What y'all think? Let me know. Let me know what y'all think about the new president. I know y'all seen the news. I know y'all seen the news. Let me know. What's good? What's good? Let me get that thumbs up. If you guys can see me, if you guys can hear me, I know the last time we went live, I know the last time we went live, apparently there was some choppiness, something was going on. But let me know if y'all can hear me, if y'all can see me, everything checks out, let me know. Give me that thumbs up. I need my quality control people to give me that thumbs up, let me know. Only one nation, my boy says, yes sir, yes sir. Yes sir, yes sir, what's good cuz, what's good with you? Let me know if y'all can hear me loud and clear. Give me that thumbs up. Give me that thumbs up. Waiting for that thumbs up before we really get this thing cracking off. I don't want any problems. Herman Muster, I see you, man. Thank you. Herman gives me the thumbs up. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, brother. Let's get this thing. Let's get this thing on the road. Let's get this thing on the road. Let's go ahead and pull this up real quick and talk about our new president. According to NBC Sports, we have Raiders hiring Sandra Douglas Morgan as the team president. Yes. We have a new team president, the first female African-American president in the NFL. The Raiders, again, are breaking down barriers. All the Raiders, again, breaking down barriers. Let me see if I can adjust this. Breaking down barriers. Not only is she African-American, I believe she is Asian as well. She works in the Asian community as well. I mean, look, we tied in, man. It might be my cousin because, man, I, I'm, I'm black and Asian too. Might be my cousin. I might have to call her. But look. The thing is, the Raiders have done this time and time again, breaking down barriers. Mark Davis is able to continue his his father's tradition of, of, of practicing inclusion within the franchise. We know about Tom Flores. We know about the first Hispanic coach, first Hispanic quarterback. We know about uh, first female uh, uh, members in the staff like Amy Trask. We know about hiring the first uh, some of the first black coaches like Art Shale. You know, brush up on a little bit of history. I'm glad I know a little bit of my history so I could talk about this. And now we bring in a, a female African-American to be our president that is from Las Vegas, has a lot of connections out there in Las Vegas. I believe is born and raised out there as well. She was prior. She was a director for Caesars um, for, for really for a game for gaming. I believe it's gambling. But this is a great hire. And not only that. I don't want to say it is, but at the same time, I feel like this kind of gives that gives that PR feel. I don't want to be the only one, but I feel like it kind of gives off that PR feel to where she's black, she's a female. There's been stuff in uh, recent news talking about women and uh, uh, women being, I guess, not treated right within the organization, within the building. So, you know, I'm not going to say this is a PR move at all. Uh, I just think this is something definitely the Raiders do often. So I definitely want to want to say it's a PR move. Uh, and another thing is I don't want to go down the stereotype, but we know how some of these black women be. And if you try to get chippy with a black female, I don't know, brother. Uh, I don't think you want to go that route. But we got over 80 people already in this live chat, y'all. If we can, go ahead and get the thumbs up so we can get the algorithm cracking. Let YouTube know we're here. And also hit that thumbs up button. Make a play, rate the like button, hit the subscribe button if you want to make a play and become a member of the channel. The link is in the comments. Let me go ahead and hop into let me go ahead and hop into the comments real quick, though, man, so we can catch up. Robert Pena is dropping the name Sandra Morgan. Yes, sir. And mind you, the name is Douglas. Mind you, the name is Douglas. Let me fix my hat, man. I got a top hat on. Mind you, the name is Douglas with two S's. So I had to change the thumbnail like five times because I'm looking. And the Douglas is with two S's. So I, I was like, that's the first time I ever seen Douglas with two S's. Anyways, Ryder Casper in the building. What's good with you? He said, I thought for sure it was going to be Matt Maddox, but I like this hire. Good to have a city attorney as president. Exactly. That is something we have to pay attention to. This person isn't just somebody that came up through the ropes of football. This is somebody that came up through the ropes of the law, that knows how to practice the law. Prior to being the Raiders president, now, uh, excuse me, who is now the Raiders president. Let me get this off so they don't try to hit me with some type of crazy uh, demonetization thing. But in here, it gives a little bit of her history. Um, let's scroll down real quick. Morgan is former. Let's, let's go ahead and show this. Morgan is former Nevada Gaming Control Board chairman. 
And, and in that position as well, she was the first uh, first female, first black female to have that position as well. Having held the position from 2019 to 2021, she was the first black woman to serve that role as, as we read and continue to see that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take this off the screen and we're just going to talk about this. We're just going to hop straight into the chat and see what everybody talking about, man. Appreciate everybody that is here. We're almost up to 100 people already. Remember to hit that like button. Salute everybody in the chat. Let me know what you guys think of this hire, though. Let me know what you guys think of this hire. Um, it is very interesting. Caught me off guard because not long ago, if I'm the only one, let me know. But not long ago, I felt like the, the sentiment was it was going to be Marcel Reese. Like, can we be honest? Um, was I the only one that thought maybe it was going to be Marcel Reese? But we'll see what happens. Roasted Raider drops a comment. He says, Raiders always giving opportunities to everyone regardless of their background, yet the NFL still hating. I mean, they've been hating ever since the start of the NFL. You got to think about it. Al Davis wasn't – Al Davis started before the NFL was really a thing. And they've been hating on him ever since, man. So that's definitely, definitely something uh, that's true, man. Spinning facts, Roasted. Appreciate you pulling up. Her resume is sick. Big time move from Mark. Mark is making business moves. This is a business move. In my opinion, it's, it's of course, it's a football move, yes. But this is a business move by Mark because you got to think about it. Again, I don't want to touch on the PR. I don't want to touch on the public relations. But think about it. She's she's black, right? You Mark, you check that block off. She's a female. You check that block off. So at that point, oh, excuse me, I'm about to knock some stuff over. At that point, you got to think about it. When all these allegations come out, they're going to look to her and they're going to say, is this stuff true? So as someone that's of, 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 a, of a minority of the female gender, it's going to be hard for those allegations to come out now. So it was, it was at the same time, it was a smart move and it was a business move by Mark Davis. Shout out to him, man. Let's let's quit all the hating because now if they try to say anything, they're going to be going against, I don't even want to go down that road. You know what I mean? Stuff gets a little touchy when you start talking about uh, specific topics, but it is what it is. Like Robert Pena says, she has the credentials. Exactly. She has the credentials, man. She has the credentials. Richard Snyder, Richard Snyder says he's not worried about the president right now. He's worried about the Waller contract. I hear you, man. I hear you, man. James Moore says, I like this move. Shout out to Queen Raider is in the building. She said, yeah, I thought it was going to be Reese. Yeah, same here. So are you guys disappointed? Let me ask this question. Are you guys disappointed it's not Reese? Are you guys disappointed it's not Reese? Or are you guys surprised that it is Sandra? You know, I, don't, I had no idea who this person was prior to an hour ago. I had no idea. I had to hurry up, hop on, look at look at what it is. And, and you know, I got to say, I kind of slipped up, y'all. I've definitely slipped up. Because if you guys seen the thumbnail, the thumbnail had a silhouette of a man with a question mark. So that was on me, my fault. Because I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have assumed that it was going to be a man. I shouldn't have assumed it was going to be a man. So, hey, what a play by Mark Davis. What a play by Mark Davis. Rick said he's not disappointed. I'm not disappointed either. I think it's definitely a business move. Los is in the building. What's good with you, Los? Appreciate you pulling up on this, man. He says Reese plays a role already, but it would have been cool. Yeah, exactly. I think Reese – that's a good point, Carlos. That's a very good point because even though Reese isn't the president per se now – He's definitely still in Mark Davis's ear. He's definitely still Mark Davis's right hand man, from what we know or from what we've seen uh, in these past couple of years. Rosa said he's all for it. Surprised, not disappointed. Definitely love that comment, Shima. Definitely love that comment. Very well put. Very well put. Only Kenna. Um, only want the best person for the job. Yes, exactly. Now is she the best person for the job, though? Is she the best person in the job? I don't really know. I don't really know how everything works as far as being the president. Um, because do they have to know a lot about football? I don't think so. I don't think you have to know a lot about football. I think you have to know how to run a business. I think you know how to keep things in line. Um, that's what we have Dave Ziegler for. That's what we have Josh McDaniels for. Uh, that's why we have guys like Marcel Reese, right hand of, of Mark, uh, Mark Davis. So definitely, definitely interesting is she the best person for the job? I have no idea. I can't tell you that. I don't think anybody, I don't think any content creator could tell you whether she's the best person for the job. Let's be honest. If there's any content creator that go, comes out and they're like, I think she's the best person for they lying. They are lying because they didn't even know who she was before today. Quit the cap. That's going to have to be a slogan. Quit the cap. That's going to have to be a slogan, man. 
That wasn't very yo, Queen. Don't get on me. Don't get on me. She said that wasn't very gender mutual of you, right? It really wasn't. I got caught slipping for real because I really did put a silhouette of a dude with a question mark. Next thing you know, they hit us with a hit us with a, a shooky duck. Next thing you know, it's a female. Shout out to her though, man. This is dope. This is dope. Tubby says true. Quit the cap. Exactly, bro. They're gonna come out here saying, Yeah, man, I yeah, I knew it was gonna be her. Uh, she was super smart. She knows this. Like, come on, bro. Please stop. Stop it. Like, you didn't know who she was before today. You did not know who she was. So don't act like it. Don't act like it. Demarcus Webb is in the building. He says, I thought it was going to be Amy Trash. That's interesting. He says, Raiders once again playing chess while the NFL playing checkers with hiring progressions. Yes, man. We're in a position now to where, you know, a lot of those allegations, let's be honest, a lot of those allegations may be out the window because, how can you really say anything when this person is that um, is that anomaly, right? Our president is that anomaly. And I don't want to keep continuing down that PR path, but when you try to say something about women, your president is female. When you try to say something about racism, your president is a minority. So it's almost going to be, you know, it's going to be hard for the NFL to, to combat with the writers now on, on some of those subjects. I know you quit. I know you're kidding. I know you. I know you're kidding. I know you're joking with me. You know what I mean? That's why I ain't clap back at you. That's why I ain't have to snap on you. That's why I ain't have to snap on you. Uh, Kenna in the building says, Raid. <laughs> that boy says, Raid her tape. Yo, we got to be careful, man. We got to be careful. No idea what she brings to the table. Yeah, exactly. I have no idea what she brings to the table. Should we deep? Uh, let's see. Rick says, This is another L for Goodell. Yeah, he got two L's in his name for a reason. He got Goodell has two L's in his name for a reason. You feel me? Yes, sir. JD is in the building. Glad to see you be able to pull up on us, man. The nation's own is out here, too. Four willing it. If y'all can, make sure to hit that like button as y'all roll through. Go make a play. Raid the like button. Make a play. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what it is, man. Not disappointed. Shout out EJ, by the way. Not disappointed. He could still be learning the ropes and in and outs of the front office stuff. She could still be learning the ropes. You got to watch it, man. It's she. You already messing up, EJ. EJ, EJ, you're gonna be on timeout if you mess up again like that. All right. Uh Demoke says she seems qualified just seeing her resume. Yeah. So that's what so what aspect are you guys looking at this from? Because I feel like there could be two aspects of this, right? We could look at this from the idea of this is a business, or you can look at it from an idea of there's football. For me, it's all about being a business move. I don't really see this being too much of a football move. This is a hundred percent business, right? She she has no does she have any background in football? I didn't see any. I looked at several articles. I looked at several articles and I didn't see any at all. So uh, let's see if we can go look up at a couple more articles. Um, here's this that I have read earlier. It says Caesars that I had read earlier on her. It says Caesars Entertainment Inc. appoint Sandra Douglas Morgan to the board of directors. It says today announced appointment of Sandra Douglas Morgan to its board of directors. This was November of 2021. So this was just, uh, what is this? Probably eight months ago that they had this. So she was the board of directors with Caesars Entertainment. That does, that's, it's an interesting aspect because, because of the gambling aspect of that, there is somewhat sports involved. Now, not really with the on-field stuff, but as far as just, um, I guess the background, I guess the background of how everything works. So it's still a business move at the end of the day. I still haven't seen any football, actual football experience um, in, in the background. If anybody finds anything, let me know. Definitely let me know. Jack Kennedy says, rate those likes for the 916 kid. Yes, sir, man. We out here in the 916, Sacramento, California. Hold it down in the capital. Make sure to rate that like button. Make a play. Hit the subscribe button if y'all new here. Let's see what y'all got working with. Ron Gass says, seeing Jeep mentioned that husband was an NFL player. Mentioned that her husband was an NFL player. That's very interesting because I have yet to see that. Um, Sandra Douglas' husband was a football player. Let's see what it is. Sandra, Sandra Douglas Morgan husband. Someone calling my phone while I'm live. They're going to have to wait on it because we got the Raider Nation. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -dun -dun. I haven't seen anything. Let me pull this up for you guys so you guys can see this, what I'm looking at. So you guys can see what I see. Best believe what I believe, right? 
Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, nah, it's already too late, brother. Fourth of July passed. I don't see anything about her husband. Um, says she'll assume the role of the Raiders president. News conference officially announcing her hiring is expected Thursday afternoon at Allegiant Stadium. The president role has been vacant. Okay. Okay, let's see what she has to say. Let me be clear. I am not here to avoid or sidestep problems or concerns that need to be addressed, Morgan said. I've given long and thoughtful consideration to joining you, and I've done so because I believe in the promise of the Raiders. Most importantly, I believe in core values of integrity, community, and commitment to excellence. I will expect you to embody those and to hold me accountable to do the same. Wow. So she came out guns blazing with that statement. Strong words coming from the lady in black, if I could say that. Uh, oh, my goodness. Yes, she's black, but I didn't mean it like that. Silver and black. Um, the Raiders are no strangers to breaking color and gender barriers in the NFL. Um, Art Shell, the first. Yep. We know about Art Shell. We know about Tom Flores. We know about um, Amy Trask. But I don't see anything about her husband. I don't see anything about her husband just quite yet. Doesn't mean she doesn't mean he he wasn't in the NFL, but I don't see anything. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, so here, this is exactly what I was kind of getting at earlier when I was talking about the PR stuff. So check this out. Last year, former HR employee, HR is human resources, former human resources employees, Nicole Adams filed a complaint against the Raiders with the Equality Employment Opportunity Commission. Adams, who was black, accused of a team, accused the team in the complaint of discriminating against her because of her race and retaliating against her after she reported concerns after pay disparity and unequal treatment. So, you know, I'm not saying it's a PR thing, but that's definitely something interesting there. Definitely, uh, definitely an interesting step there. Uh, but I don't care what she has to say, honestly. Let's move on. I still don't see her husband being an NFL player. Doesn't mean it's not true. Doesn't mean it's not true. But here's a little bit of history here. Last year, Morgan was the chair of the committee. Um, the board of directors at Leeds and Travel. Okay, let's see if we can find anything else on her on I mean, any relations to the NFL, I have yet to see it. I have yet to see it. So some, I'm going to have to find that link. I'm going to have to definitely find that link. Let's get back to the chat, though, y'all. Let's get back to the chat. I see we have a super chat. If anybody wants to drop a super chat, get your comment seen, no matter what, you get that super chat. But I appreciate the donation, brother. Let's go ahead and knock it out and see what we got in the store. King85, thank you, brother. Always supporting the channel. He says, I think you can say it's good because of her background. President don't affect the field with her Vegas connections and law background alone. This makes it good. And this, and this is why I feel like it's, it's a business move. It's that business move, man. It's that business move. Definitely, King. I definitely agree with King on everything he said in that super chat. Appreciate you, brother. Freddie Raider 661 says, her husband played for the Vikings Cardinal. His name is Don Morgan. There you go. Thank you very much, Freddie. Salute to you for dropping that thing down. Freddie Morgan. Uh, Don, I'm talking about Freddie Morgan. Freddie Morgan. Don Morgan was her husband. Okay, so her husband was in the NFL. Now, does that provide her with enough? I think it should. I think it should provide her with enough because when you're, you know, I think when you're married to an NFL athlete, you have to understand the nuances of the game and understand the sacrifices that they have to make, that they have to make in order to um, sustain that NFL career. Jack Kenneth says, 140 in here and only 14 likes. Ain't no damn way. And I'm a, I ain't going to say another word till we get over 100 likes. There ain't no way. That's a lie. Ain't no way there's only 14 likes. No, no, sir. Dominique Five is in the building. Glad you're able to pull up on us. Dominique Five in the building. Dirty. Hey, Dirty, long time no see, man. Glad you're out here. Laura Sheath is in the building. Circus Raider is in the building. What's good with you? Donahue is in the building. Man, y'all lit today. Y'all lit today. I know we've seen Queen in the building. SVT was good with you, man. He says, are you going to get redemption? On that bike trail. Oh, my gosh. Hey, SVT sneak this in me. So if y'all don't know, you know what I mean? I, I I see the pun. I see the pun. He's talking about redemption. Shout out Redemption Brand, you know what I mean? With the gear, if y'all don't know. But 
I fell on that bike trail. I'm gonna get redemption. I'm not even sore. I'm not even sore after that bike trail, after that bike run, man. Honestly, I thought a little bike trail we went on. I'm not even sore after them falls. So I'm gonna get my redemption, SVT. You know that, brother. You know that, man. You know that, man. Kalu says 102 likes. Yes, there we go. Oh, I was already numb, man. Yeah, it ain't no way. AJ Simpson in the building. Glad to see you out here. Raiders for life says, yeah, I just wanted Lewis Riddick, bro. That's all I can really say. I mean, I would keep her for maybe her credentials with accountant and stuff. I'm just saying somebody on the football side to help Dave. I definitely agree with that, bro. I definitely agree with that. I wanted Lewis Riddick. It, it, drop down in the comments who you guys wanted as a team president. I'm not going against who we hired. I'm just saying, who did you guys want to hire as the president? Me personally, I wanted Lewis Riddick. I felt like he had that. I feel like he had the swagger. I feel like he had the understanding of the game. I mean, come on. We know who Lewis Riddick is, right? He has an understanding of the game. He understands how people are. I mean, he seems just like a people person. So I'm a big fan of Lewis Riddick, dude. Uh, I think he would relate to the players as well. And he's a brother. You know what I mean? You you mark that. You know what I mean? You check that block off right there. Jack Kennel with the super chat. Appreciate it, brother, for sliding through with the super. He says, always supporting my hometown brother for the 916 Sacramento. Yo, holding it down, folks. You know we got to hold it down, JK. He said, do you feel all the contracts are team friendly? Got the airplanes flying over. I'm not in L.A. I'm in Sacramento. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. He said, do you feel all the contracts are team friendly with only 3.6 in cap in 2023? 3.6 in cap in 2023? You're telling me something new, Jack. Hold up. 3.6. I'm going to have to study that one because you're throwing me a curveball. I thought we had a lot more money in 2023. I thought we had a lot more money. Um, now, is that – that's tough, bro. 3.6 in I didn't know that one. I didn't know that one. I thought we had way more money than that. Ah, man. That's – yeah, if we only have 3.6, then it's definitely the, the contracts aren't team friendly if we only have 3.6. But if you're considering – are you talking about this season or are you talking about after this season? If you're talking about this season, we should be fine. This season, we should be fine because we, we've already reloaded after June, and I think we got about 20-plus million that we reloaded up on. So we can go out there. We can go pick up some free agents. Not only that, we could just save that money and have it roll over to the season, to the next season, or in the middle of the season, we'll pick up on Waller's uh, contract. We'll pick up on Waller's contract. We have to pick up Waller's contract at this point. I feel like we've already done things to where we can get that get that rolling. Sean Donahue says, "Cop that black redemption had a couple weeks ago. It's fire." Shout out to Donahue for grabbing a redemption. I appreciate you supporting the brand. Appreciate you supporting the brother. You feel me? Just being out here and rocking with the nation. This is the Flyers gear in the nation. I ain't gonna cap on you right now. I ain't gonna toot. I ain't gonna toot that horn. But this is the Flyers gear in the nation. Don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. Tyler Raider says, "Anybody going to the battle uh, for Vegas softball game? It's on my birthday, and I might pull up. Battle for Vegas softball game? I'm not sure about that one, man. But let Tyler Raider know in the comments if y'all pulling up to that Vegas softball game. You might have to share more info. I haven't heard about that one, bro." I haven't heard about that one, though. The Nation's Own says it's a strong business move. Yeah, I agree. I agree 100%. Would have loved Lewis Riddick, but this is a much stronger move than Riddick. Mark is sharp. Mark is sharp. Mark is sharp because he knew what he wanted to do. This is a business move. This is a business move. He knew what he wanted to do, and he got it done. He definitely got it done. Black Sunday says, I wanted Riddick, too. Damn. See, a couple people wanted Riddick. I wanted Riddick as well. Johnny says, damn, I forgot we didn't have a president. I'm going <laughs> to – yo, yo, Johnny, you ain't the only one. You're not the only one. I'm not going to sit up here in uh, front. Hell no. Nah, I completely forgot that our president thing was absent. I completely forgot. I wasn't even thinking about it. I'm over here getting this – I'm over here getting this Rocky Sin film study together. I ain't thinking about that. And with that being said, that Rocky Sin film study will be dropping tomorrow, y'all. It will be dropping tomorrow. So y'all keep a lookout for that Rocky Sin film study. That shit is lit. That shit is lit. Most definitely. Oh, snap. Terrence is in the building. Long time no see. Terrence said, I want Amy Trask back. Yeah, I heard you, man. I, I hear you, man. But at the same time, I wouldn't be mad at that. But at the same time, I'm definitely ready for just something new, right? We have Mark Davis, new owner. You know, some new owner, Mark Davis. Uh, we have a new, we have a new. GM in, in 
and we have a new coach. Now we get a new president. This is a new era for the writers. Let's be honest. This is a new era for the writers. And we have to continue to, to thrive on it. We have to continue to, you know what I mean, uh, be motivated with it because we don't want to go in the past. I don't like getting people from the past, honestly, Terrence. I love the old writers and everything. And I've talked about this before. We are not the same. We are not the same writers as the 80s because a lot of people are stuck with this with this idea that the writers are the same writers from the 80s. And we haven't we haven't been that. We're we are not that. This is a new generation. This is a new football team. This is this is nearly a new organization. We're in Las Vegas. Everything is new. We have to we have to really strive with this new era, man. I'm not going back. I don't want I don't want uh, Art Shell to be the coach. I don't want Tom Cable to be the offensive line coach. I don't want to bring back a, a, an old coach or anything like that. No, we moving on with something new. And this was this. I'm not mad at that, but I think Sandra. I think Sandra is the new Amy Trask. Let's put it that way. Sandra's the new Amy Trask, brother. Dirty says I like this move. This makes a statement, and it's the way we do things. This is groundbreaking, especially especially around the league. The way they're going to be looking at the Raiders now. And I'm not talking about players or anything, but well, players too. But you think about the front offices, they're gonna be looking around like, damn, the Raiders did it again. They're gonna be like the Raiders did it again. The Raiders won up us, the Raiders got us looking bad. I mean, think about it, man. They have been trying to slander us. Our coach just got fired last year for some for some, you know, off the field, some weird stuff, right? They try to slander our name, they try to make the Raiders look bad, they try to destroy us. And it seems like every time they try to destroy us and bring something up, Mark Davis is coming back with the haymaker. Like, am I telling any lies at all right now? Mark Davis has been able to handle himself like a freaking boss. Like every situation that comes up, he handles himself like a boss. So shout out Mark Davis, man. He's been holding it down. Circus Raider said, can someone give me info on Sandra? I know nothing about her qualifications. Hey, if you if you're a little late, man, we went over a couple things, man. She worked for Caesars Entertainment. She was a director of the board with the Legion's uh, Legion uh, Stadium or something like that. Legion Entertainment too. She, we went over a few things, man. And apparently, her husband was an NFL player, so that's how she has somewhat connections with the NFL. So it's definitely interesting. Kevin Lurker in the building. I see you, folks. Giving a shout out to Terrence, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Nick, right before I get to this comment, if y'all can, hit that like button, y'all. Hit that like button. Let's see if we can get that like up to 150 likes, maybe 175 likes. Let's try 175 likes because we got over 180 people in the chat already. Go ahead and drop a comment down your opinion of this new hire of the Raiders' new president. Mr. Nick himself with the Cliff Branch photo, he says, Sandra is local and she's an integrated in the athletic and gaming commissions. It's a solid hire. And that's what I've, and that's what I like is that she's a local is that she is raised, that she is embedded in this community of Las Vegas. So she's going to know the nuances. She's going to know the ins and outs. And she's going to know the connections. This is what this is about, really, in my opinion. This is about them connections, yo. She has connections that nobody else would have had. Nobody else would have had. Louis Riddick wouldn't have had them. Marcel Reese wouldn't have had them. They don't have the education that she has either. So we have to give the props where it's due. And, and Mark Davis definitely has some groundbreaking stuff. Like Dirty said, this is groundbreaking. This is groundbreaking. Uh, teams are going to continue. Teams are going to copy what we're doing. I can guarantee it. Teams are going to copy what we're doing. Boogie says, Raiders were progressive way before it was core trendy for social media. <laughs> way, hey, hey, way before, man. And like we went over, we talked about the Floreses. We talked about the Tress. We talked about the Shells. Right. So this is just another one of those, man. Gabriel says, Mark, really trying not to get sued. huh? Hey, hey, I didn't want to take it down that road, Gabe. I ain't trying to take it down that road. But look, hey, it could be like I said, it, this is part of business, brother. This is all part of business. It's all part of business. Snyder was good with you, man. He says, I like when I walk in, bro, you're a solid host and I respect your military service. A, uh, at David, aka Ray, I appreciate that Schneider man. Uh, bro, dropped my dropping my government name in that thing, but I ain't mad at that, bro. And it, it, it call me guest. If anything, don't call me David. Call me guest. I go by guest before I ever call, go by David. And another thing is, being in the military, they call you by the last name, and they would always call me guest. So just rock with guest. If y'all want to call me anything, y'all can call me guest. Y'all can call me Ray. Uh, that's how I'm rocking, man. Appreciate Schneider though. 
appreciate that recognition uh, for, for the military service. Not sure if you were either, but shout out to everybody that served. There's a lot of things going on right now. So, you know, it's time to be careful. A lot of things going on. They're letting, they're letting people, when they let people in the military get tattoos, when they let people in the military get a bunch of tattoos in random spots to where they can see it outside of uniform, you know something's about to go down. That's when they're trying to get people in there. And I'm just warning y'all, if y'all not ready, if y'all not about that life, if y'all not about that life, get ready for it. Sean Donahue says people aren't uh, used to us hiring an actual qualified person for the job. With all due respect to Lewis Riddick, why is he qualified to be a team president? We got ourselves a real businesswoman. Sean Donahue, salute to you, man, because you was talking that shit. Okay? Shout out to Don, Sean Donahue because he's saying it. He Look, this had to be said. I'm glad somebody said it because what does make Lewis Riddick qualified to be a team president? You know what I mean? Maybe not a consultant with playing on the field or anything like that because we know he knows a lot about football and he's played football before. But what does he know about running an actual organization? He's never been a coach. He's never been a GM. He's He's been on the media a lot. So shout out to Donahue for really pointing that out and putting a pin in it and letting us know that we got a real businesswoman. 100% business move. We got a real business move, a uh, real businesswoman. But we are 30 minutes deep in this live. We're almost to 200 people in the chat. And if y'all can't hit that like button and hit the subscribe button, go raid the like button. Y'all know how we get down. Raid that like button. Go make a play. Hit the subscribe button if you guys want to. You don't have to subscribe. You could be a hater, not subscribe, but just watch from the sidelines. Let me take a swig of the wig and let's get back to it, man. Jack Kenneth says, Sue is a 4-3-D tackle. Raiders base now is 3-4. Hmm. That's interesting. Jack, uh, one thing I would say is I don't think Sue, I don't think it would really matter what the scheme is with Sue. You just want that big guy in the middle of your defense to plug up some gaps to be able to help get to the quarterback. That's what you really want. That's what you really want. Jack Kenneth, yes, sir. Salute to the military. Man, I, I'll tell y'all, man, I know a lot about the military now, but let me tell y'all, when I was when I was first joining the Army and I was in basic training, man, you're not supposed to salute sergeants or nothing like that. I had no clue. I was saluting my first sergeant. If anybody was a higher rank, I was just going to whip it. This, is, this was my motto. When in doubt, whip it out. So when I was in doubt, I was just going to salute anyways. I didn't, I didn't want to disrespect nobody. And I figured if I salute you and I wasn't supposed to, you ain't going to be disrespecting. You're just going to be like, oh, no, you're not supposed to salute me. So I remember I was saluting my first sergeant. Um, and then they had to teach me and all that. But it was it was funny, man. Shout out to everybody in the service, though, for real. Because it get down. Because it, it it's tough. It's tough being in, it, being in the service. It's tough. Uh, Blue King in the building. What's good with you, man? Blowing on that gas. I see you folks. Be careful out there. He said, what's good, Ray? Good to see you still doing your thing. Yeah, man, you know I'm out here, bro. You know I'm out here, bro. I took a little break because it was the offseason. Wanted to get the brand rolling. I wanted to get that out there, but we back in the building. I want to let y'all know we are live every Monday. Remember, we are live every Monday morning for Good Morning Nation. GMN. I know I put GMN. That's Good Morning Nation. We are live every Monday morning for Good Morning Nation. Make sure y'all tune in. We are back in full effect. We are dropping the Rocky Sin film study tomorrow. Dropping the Rocky Sin film study tomorrow. So make sure y'all check that out too. Because Rocky Sin is a dog. Let me tell y'all. Rocky Sin's a dog. He's a dog. He's definitely CB1. He's definitely CB1. Shout out to Sip Tally Films. He says, sub yesterday, like the content. Shout out to you, man. I see you with the Ravens, Beanie on. Are you a Ravens fan? Let me know because I'm starting a new YouTube channel. Okay. And my first film study is going to be on Jason Owe, Odafe Owe. And that boy's a beast. Let me tell you. A lot of people sleeping on him. But this is ready to take. Let me digress. EJ Redder says, sorry, man. I got to keep saying it again, but my comment way earlier when you said you were going to uh, time me out was not about Sandra, but about Marcel Reese learning the ropes and the in and outs of the uh, of the organization. Okay, okay, okay. I hear you, man. I hear you, man. Look, I wasn't, I wasn't going to time you out. I was just messing with you. EJ, you a member. If you want to be a member, the pin is at the top. Go ahead and become a member of the channel. It's the best way to support the channel. So we can strive and we can get to that 10K subs. So let's get it, man. EJ, you know I ain't going to put you on no damn timeout, bro. You my folks. You my folks, man. You my folks. Ain't no way I'm putting you on timeout. 
let's get to some comments that we may have not seen. 831 says, I want football experience, not a cover-up hire. All the work to this point and hire someone who has no football experience, shake my damn head. Let's go ahead and address this, Nation, because I know some people out there, I know some people out there are going to feel this way. Some people are going to feel like this is a cover-up hire. Like, uh, let's be honest. That's why I had to touch on the subject. You know, y'all know I ain't going I ain't from the sugarcoat anything, right? I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. So this does seem like a cover-up hire. And we pointed it out. We pointed it out. I read the article earlier on how there was a female, black female worker that happened to uh, accuse someone in the organization of, of inequalities and discriminations and things. But look, I don't know if it's really that much of a cover-up because when she does have business experience she is a she's been on boards on uh, several boards throughout high-ranking organizations high-powered organizations and it's not football organizations these are organizations that we're talking about caesar's entertainment like caesar's entertainment you know what i mean i'm sure they're funding or at least have as much um things going on within their organization or operations as the writers do in their operations i'm sure they do over there at caesar's they're a year-round business the NFL only goes, you know what I mean, for only so many months. Of course, they're working throughout the whole time and all season, but y'all get my point. So I think she does have experience, just not football experience. Now, does your president have to have football experience per se? Football experience. That I wouldn't be able to tell you 100%, but if you have a Dave Ziegler at GM and then you have a high-powered business-minded woman as your president, I think you will be okay. I honestly think you will be okay. I think you get a lot of football out of McDaniels and of Ziegler. You get enough football out of that. Like, then you bring in the business part. Mark Davis knows something about football as well. So we have enough football minds around, in my opinion, y'all. All right. Ravens for Life says, Yeah, bro, my shirt and my hat should come today. I got all the black. Ain't no better gear, bro. I'm telling you, even the Reddit store, they. Don't have no R is the most fire I've ever seen, bro. Shay, yo, shout out to Raiders for Life for dropping that comment, man. Yo, I appreciate that. That goes a long way, man. Look, I don't even know what to say, man. I'm, I'm, I don't even know what to say, man. That's dope. I appreciate you copping. I appreciate you copping the gear and saying those kind of words, bro, because I really work hard at this joint. I really work hard at this. And if y'all want to go cop some of this too, then y'all want to look fly at the games. If y'all want to look fly on game day, then go cop, then go cop some. You know what I mean? But shout out to Reddits for Life for dropping that, man. It makes me – that makes my day, bro. That, it really does. It really it really lingers throughout the day as well when I think about that kind of stuff. It keeps me motivated. Queen Raider Red says, raid them likes. Tubby says, hit them likes. You know what it is, man. Let's go ahead and hit them likes, raid the like button, and get it up there. She says, she will be handling the business side of the organization. The GM handles the football side, two different jobs of this organization. And that's kind of where I'm running with it, JoJo. That's where I'm running with it, Valdez. There's two sides of the operations. And I think she's going to definitely be able to pull something up, okay? She's definitely going to be able to pull something up. Get the merch at redemptionbrand.com. Appreciate that, Terrence, for dropping that in the, in the, uh, in the comment section. Very much for everybody that wants to know. Derek Vehicle says, facts, right? Got the best gear in Raiders YouTube. Shit, we need some sweats, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, sir. They coming, man, but it's summertime. I ain't finna drop no, no sweats in the summertime. Trust me. Um, let's get to it, man. Uh, Gabriel says, yo, barely seen what she looks like. Our new president bad is, yo, you wildin'. Look, Gabe, 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 Gabe. I wasn't even going to say nothing. I wasn't even gonna say nothing, but you said it. You said it. And this, it look, if there was accusations then, there's gonna be accusations now because because what because of what Gabe said. So let's go on, let's go on, let's go on. Jack Kenna, as a USA employee and left a job that paid more just to take care of those who serve and protect family. Salute, brother and sisters. Dang, shout out to you, man. I do have a, a USA account still, man. Shout out to you at yeah, USA, because y'all always helping for real. Y'all always helping. No doubt. No. There's probably one of the best bank accounts because another thing with USA is they don't charge you. You know how you go to the ATM and there's that surcharge like two, three dollars? The USA will pay you back for that. So shout out to USA. CBT says it's tough having to eat them crayons. <laughs> hey, 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 look. Look, I know you was in the I know you was well, man. I know you was in the Navy, 
but you still a crayon eater in my book, man, because I swear it's stuck now. Now it's stuck in my brain that you was a Marine, CVT, SVT, excuse me. Uh, uh, CCNG rocking it too. Smart move, giving all content credits free, good, just good marketing. Hey, I ain't gonna cap, man. I ain't gonna cap. Some of them brothers just grabbed it. Some of them brothers just grabbed it. Where's the gray and black cap? Stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Most definitely. Hey, we've been up here for about 40 minutes, though, y'all. If y'all can't, make sure to hit that like button. We're gonna go ahead and get up out of here as time's dwindling down. Tubby Chili does say 78 days until fall. I'm not sure what that means, but I don't know how many days until the season starts. I thought that's what you were going to say. But we're going to go ahead and get up out of here, y'all. We've been up here for 40 minutes. Wanted to go, go ahead and talk a little bit about this new president. Um, I mean, the Raiders are breaking down Bakers once again. We've seen it. We've read it multiple times. She was, she's been director of boards for uh, Caesars Entertainment. Um, for Allegiant Airlines, I mean, the list goes on. She definitely knows her stuff. So go ahead, do your guys' homework. Go find out how you guys feel about it. I'm, I'm okay with the hire. I think it's strictly a business hire. I don't want to put any PR on it, but the fact that she's a black woman, you know, people are going to attach that to it. People are really going to attach that to it. But I think it has more to do with business and the fact she has connections in Las Vegas. You got to think she's, she's, she's basically a freaking judge at this point. You know what I mean? So she knows her stuff, you know what I mean? And if anybody's going to get in trouble, she's the one that's going to get them in trouble. Let's be honest, yo. So with that being said, yo, I'm going ahead and get up out of here. Shout out to everybody that pulled up. We was nearly 200 deep. We was nearly 200 deep, man. Shima says, do a pull if you think if a cover up higher. Oh, man. Look, I might I might chill on that one, man. I ain't trying to get, I ain't trying to get no uh, feathers ruffled. But I might chill on that one, Shima. I definitely understand why you wouldn't want to do that because I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Shout out Shima, man. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that right after this. But, yo, shout out to everybody that pulled up, man. JRCC5, I see you pulling up, man. But we just about to get out of here after that new hire. Appreciate everybody that was with us. That was with us. If you can, hit that like button before you go and hit the subscribe button if y'all new here. Okay? I appreciate everybody rocking with us. And until next time, y'all, 